Welcome to Overdrive AF, the official podcast of Overdrive Fitness. My name is Teddy Gerzon, and I'm joined by Gina Marie Gerzon. What is up, everybody? As always, joined by Destroyer. What's up? <laughs> and not here with us today, but should be, is Titan and Brajol. Um, it's actually a very mild 75 degrees right now in New York. We just wrapped up another uh, virtual charity workout. Uh, this time we did it off-site. Uh, and you're hearing this, it'll be Tuesday, at least Tuesday, uh, in August in New York, but uh, or wherever you're listening. But uh, this was being recorded on a Saturday, so we did a virtual charity workout earlier this morning at a member's house. Um, and yeah, that was a great workout. So um, here we are with this week's episode. And uh, we're going to keep it rolling with, um, you know, two more great supplements uh, under the Prestige Labs name. And also an update from um, our first ever guest on uh, the Overdrive AF podcast. All right. So let's start with the two new. Actually, no, we should start with what we usually start with, which is uh, a quick mileage and jump shot update. Uh, took a break from really keeping track. This was a recovery week from the air quality or allergy mess that happened last week. So yeah, that was bad. I didn't really count, but I did get out there, and I didn't didn't work on the jump shot, but I did get some tennis in. Nice. Went okay. Back to my roots. Nice. So. Still balls and nets involved. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> different yeah. location. Yeah. Juggling it up. Yeah. <laughs> Do you blame some of that on the fact that uh, your brothers are home? The air quality? No, the tennis. <laughs> yeah, the air quality. <laughs> the tennis? Yeah, it's definitely whenever they're back, we have to get some in. I'm not, I'm not really one to hit the, the ball at the wall. Who's better? Who's got Well, game? I think in terms of skill, I'm probably the best. But since... Aiden's got like the wingspan uh, <laughs> and the height and the length. He can get to all the shots faster, so so we kind of even each other out there. Got it. See, you give him a run for his money, though. Yeah, I'm sure it's you always do. very competitive. <laughs> I love the it. The score might not reflect. Like you're more of like an Agassi, and he's more of like an Ivanisevich. Yeah. <laughs> that best. Nobody's a McEnroe. I was a McEnroe in high school. You oh. were? Yeah. You were very loud and whiny. Coach would always get on me, like, don't get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to lose the... when you get mad like that. <laughs> Throwing the, the tennis racket. I broke. I might have broken two rackets. Are you kidding in high me? School. That's it? I think only two. <laughs> I mean, why did we lift so much then for you to only break two rackets? <laughs> I wasn't pulling my weight. Does it? <laughs> you held back. Yeah. I guess we should, uh, <laughs> that should be a podcast graphic one day, uh, an episode graphic, you, uh, you playing tennis, maybe you Photoshop yourself onto, yeah, onto um, long hair Agassiz's face. I like it. I'll get there it you go. <laughs> um, are you a sweatband guy when you play tennis? No, I don't like all the, the gear. All the gear. Weighs you down? Yeah. Not so aerodynamic? Some, sometimes if my hair is a little too long, I'll put like a one of those like lacrosse headbands in nice you should wear that early 90s like painter hat <laughs> with the elastic band yeah, i was on the thinking back. the other day now that i wear glasses while i play i should wear like the polo and like the hiked up khaki shorts like it was <laughs> the 60s or you something. gotta go for it Desi. well where do you normally play at the high school yeah <laughs> yeah but when you dress like that you're probably not allowed on school property yeah probably. <laughs> <laughs> or within at least uh 50 <laughs> feet 50 of a school feet, yeah. <laughs> dressing like that automatically gets you arrested yeah or flown out to Epstein Island. Oh but anyway, uh, I digress. <laughs> so here we are. Let's talk about things that actually help you. <laughs> um, so yeah, Gina, why don't you take it away with... Uh, what do you, which, which one, one, one do you want to start with? I guess let's talk about immune assist. So the immune assist? Yes. Okay. We'll get nerdy for a second. Well, we'll just get scientific and throw out all the good stuff. So the immune assist... Um, I know it kind of came out a little bit later um, when Prestige Labs started to kind of spit out all the the good, the great quality supplements that they carry, and we were so 
um, intrigued and we really bought in because they really do work and I, I believe in, in everything that they put in their products. Um, but the immune assist uh, is, is great uh, because these are all things that I've been suggesting to my clients um, and athletes too. Uh, it's, it's basically based off of um, like Asian medicine. Um, they have all different types of medicinal mushrooms in them. Um, like cordyceps, reishi, shiitake, maitake, lion's mane, um, all that good stuff, turkey tail mushrooms, um, and the list goes on and on. Um, it, 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 these are adaptogenics, um, this and um, the, other, the other product we're going to be speaking about today too, but uh, um, the, the immune assist is definitely one for... Um, adapting to stress, allowing your body to handle it better. Um, even for me, uh, I noticed how many years ago when I started taking um, these medicinal mushrooms before Prestige Labs started coming out, um, but they put they have such a wonderful blend of ingredients um, that are so, um, so efficient at what they do. Um, they definitely help with your mental clarity, your cardiovascular system, um, and again, allowing your body to really um, adapt to stress and handle it better. And of course with that too, if your central nervous system is more at ease, your body is, um, your immune system is, is naturally stronger. It helps you to, um, it gives that boost to your immune system as well. And of course with all this craziness going on in the world and just in general, um, more people I think uh, in the United States work longer hours, work more often, don't really take many vacations in general, um, so it definitely helps with your immune system, um, energy, vitality, uh, all that good stuff. So just total body wellness. Uh, they definitely preach that uh, at uh, Prestige Labs. So I would, I would, uh, and of course, a healthy white cell blood count or white blood cell count um, is what we need for a healthy immune system and to show that profile when you get your blood work done. Um, so yes, I would, I would suggest this for sure. Awesome. Because you know we've been taking mm -hmm. cordyceps and, and um, Chinese mushrooms for a long time, mm -hmm. way before this, um, this came out from Prestige. And, and again, I know this is a newer product, but um, anybody that's stressing or anybody that um, really needs to work on feeling healthier for a longer period of time um, and who, who's used to kind of getting sick at the normal times of the year and um, possibly um, needs to work on building that immune system, this is great. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's an awesome supplement. Um, you know, it's, and with, our, with our distributor discount, you guys can get it for only $37. I believe that's what it is. But, uh, you know, a hell of a lot cheaper than the... the uh, shrooms that you're not sure if you should take that you get for $50 an eighth. There's some of you out there that will get that joke. Um, these actually taste good because they're actually in a capsule. You don't even need to uh, even chew them or anything. Uh, those of you that have a hard time with, with pills, then, I mean, just rip open the capsule and just pour it onto your into a drink or something. I don't know. Just get it in. Uh, you know, there's, there's way more benefits than anything to take these. And uh, they're safe. So, yeah, we have a... Um, there's a, a cat battle going on. There's a there's wrestle a, meow meow a, going on. Yeah, there's a there's a, a, a love a love a love match going on. Mm -hmm. Between um, Abracadabra and Macy us. Gray. The two uh we've had we've had a handful of uh overdrive unions, so most of them have been human, although we we do have a couple uh, non human um unions, I would say. Mm -hmm. There's definitely there's definitely love matches that have happened since we've, since we've come into, we've, we've, we've located ourselves, we've relocated in this, in this area and overdrive, <laughs> over your overdrive into this area, our expansion. So Macy Gray and uh, Abracadabra were definitely having a little something there, so. But they're all, they are all fixed spade neuters, so uh, yeah, it's. Yeah, um, very healthy. It's harmless and not multiplying. We took care of that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So. Uh, so that was that the that was the immune assist. Um, moving on to Golden Guard next. Um, yeah, we can go to, uh, move on to Golden Guard. Um, so Golden Guard is again one of the newer um, products that Prestige Labs uh, has introduced into their plethora. I use that big word plethora. SAT word. Of, yeah. SATs and I didn't get along very well. <laughs> I'm not a very good test taker. But I, I know my stuff. I'm just not a very good test taker. Um, um, so we'll go over uh, some of the ingredients in Golden Guard. So turmeric, um, so both the root and the extract, um, uh, ginger, boswellia, glucosamine, chondroitin, MSM, um, uh, bromelain. Um, these are all amazing ingredients that help with your immune system, of course. It's an, a huge anti-inflammatory. There is so much research, really, really good research out there now, specifically on curcumin. Um, turmeric itself, um, it does everything from help lower your blood sugar levels. It helps to um, kind of maintain gut health or reintroduce good, good gut bacteria. Um, allow that allow it to thrive um, in your in your digestive system it helps to reduce cholesterol um, again I can't I cannot I cannot stress how well of an how, how good of an anti-inflammatory this product is um, anybody who has joint issues um, muscular aches and pains uh, just issues with recovery in general um, you know, they, they use these spices um, in many parts of the world, and even in the United States, to cook with. Um, again, I said I said antibacterial, huge antibacterial. Obviously, it helps you to maintain and boost your immune system because you're 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 taking these products, and you're ingesting these these really good extracts um, and herbs. Um, anybody who has um, arthritis. Um, anything that's pro-inflammatory, it does help to bring that inflammation down in general. Um, I think I went over everything. Mm -hmm. Turmeric is and, and uh, ginger too are are huge um, antioxidants. So uh, and boswellia is big time in regards to. I remember just talking about this even with the younger athletes um, in regards to and. You know, we had some of our, our big time gymnasts too, um, joint issues, just discomfort, achiness, um, all that good stuff. And, and we know that when our body's inflamed, your body doesn't function well, you don't sleep well. And again, this, this, this in turn will help with your sleep because you're not, you're not walking around like a hot red mess. <laughs> I don't know, maybe not red hot mess, but you, you know, sometimes you could just be a hot mess and it could be an internally hot mess. So we help that fire Sima a little bit with with the uh, golden god. Was that was that good? It was good. solid. Okay. It is vegan just, and gluten free. Yeah. So there are no animals harmed in the making of this supplement. Um but speaking of animals, you cannot take this while pregnant or breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. So um that's about it. I mean, that's literally the only negative I'd say about it. Um, one thing, another great thing is uh, all the ingredients that Gina just listed, we would tell you to take anyway, uh, especially Well, I don't for, tell anybody. I just, I just make suggestions. I say, look yeah. it up, make suggestions, you know. But, uh... You and know, I always you, tell them to speak to their doctor. You, each bottle of, of each individual ingredient, would you add that all up, would run you like over $120 for a month's worth. And uh, now for only thirty-seven dollars, you're getting it all in one serving of uh, it's two capsules. You're taking two capsules a day. I mean, it's a win-win. You know, you get healthier, uh, you boost your immune system along with the immune assist, immune assist uh, in, a, in a time in which uh, I believe there's a virus going around that is causing you know poor health in individuals. I could be wrong though. A little bit of craziness. A little bit of craziness. A little bit of craziness going on. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I saw someone in the supermarket the other day with a World War One gas mask. Mm. That was awesome. Wow. 
You didn't yeah. video that? You didn't... Didn't I throw that on no, I think I would have had some negative backlash had I posted it on social media. I chose not to for very specific reasons. Um, well, but considering that people are living in a bubble right now, some some people are still living in a bubble right now. No, there is. I was definitely not going to post that the, that the, individual doing that. The immune assist and the golden guard would would absolutely help. Oh no, definitely. You know. That gas mask was pretty funny though because uh, the person had to scream to communicate <laughs> to people like oh. within three feet of them. Where's the milk? <laughs> but, uh, it makes it seem a lot more urgent. I don't see any 2%. Huh? It makes whatever she's doing seem a lot more urgent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I was actually an employee of, the su- of that supermarket, so it was even serious? funnier. Yeah. Like asking to check in and stuff. I was like, I'm the manager. <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> then the people with the inverted face shields I've seen lately, so they have the surgical mask, the inverted face shield with, like, an exhaust hose going out the top. Wow. Yeah. People are getting really inventive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just, I don't know what to say about it. It just makes me laugh. I'm, I've been left speechless at this point. Because, <laughs> uh... I mean, I, I really I really try not to judge anybody, but I will definitely judge you if you don't use turn signals and you don't put your shopping cart away. Like, that's a big no-no in my life. Um, so now we've got people not putting your shopping, shopping carts away, but leaving their um, their wipes in there from cleaning off their carts. We're throwing them on the floor. We're throwing them on the floor. But they have gloves and a mask on. Yeah. I can't believe I, I've lived to say that I've seen more latex gloves left in parking lots than I've seen used condoms left in parking lots. Um, that's a, yeah. Or Times are changing. Yes, times they are changing. What a time to be alive, I guess you could say. 2020. <laughs> used latex gloves and sanitary wipes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe one episode we'll read off the guidelines of uh, how to practice safe sex during uh during covid um that were sent out by the The by the health department of new york city so gyms can't be open but if you choose to be promiscuous the health department will gladly come to your door and explain how to go about that (laughs) i can't i can't there's a pdf on it actually i can't i believe that teddy poor person that had to Write all that. Write down. all that up. So you can't work out. You can't. You can't exercise in a fitness facility. But if you are planning to have sexual relations with someone or multiple individuals or whatever, then the health department has document has a document, a PDF that will that can be sent to your email address, <laughs> and they will actually they will gladly. Um, show up to your doorstep and explain in its entirety to you how to go about doing that. Yeah, and if you guys ever catch the verbiage, it's so, pretty but, hysterical. So I guess there's a there's more of there's there's a higher percentage of you catching the virus exercising but not having sexual relations. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, because the the guidelines clearly state no kissing. Oh. Yeah. So Got it. But, but, uh, but what about breathing the same air then? If that's the problem. You gotta hold your, your gas breath. mask. So it's, it's, how, how, how can Bang you go about Bang and snorkels. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it they is. They can wear the World War One masks. They yeah. can. Or they can wear the reverse face shield with face the, shield. with the. I would go World War One mask because, you know, if you're, if, like, if you're living in a tenement, I mean, you can scream as loud as you can in that, yeah, make yeah. all the noise you want, and no one will friggin' hear you. Yeah, buddy. I mean, that sounds like a big victory in my book. But uh, <sighs> speaking of danger, uh, I just remembered that there was a post put online yesterday um, regarding the dangerous comments from King Cuomo. Uh, so he actually he actually said something. I believe it was two days ago in the press he actually addressed the issue of gyms not being open in new york at least it's not an issue to him he doesn't to. care so he was quoted by saying uh you know dangerous activity during pandemic 
right, referring to a, a multitude of things, and then said, and I quote, gyms have been nationally identified source of infections. We know from other states they've been highly problematic, which is funny because Governor Cuomo is constantly saying that we need to go by the science, we need to go by the data. However, if you ever go on social media and someone tries to back their, like, bullshit fucking health and fitness science and they can never cite their sources for actual studies done on more than five humans let alone three lab ma- lab rice lab, lab mice you're hungry then uh <laughs> whoa i just kicked thank you all right so continuing after that minor uh, audio issue sorry about that but uh you know like i said he he did say that He knows from other states that gyms have been highly problematic. And you can't you can't tell me that you're constantly going off science and data and not be able to support your your opinions without actual facts. Like he constantly keeps saying it, but there's never any proof coming out of his mouth about this, right? But I will read right now what the facts and reports do show. So everyone knows New York is a very liberal state. All right, let's go to another widely known and large liberal state not only large in area but population california 150 fitness operators representing 785 locations with more than 5.5 million check-ins show 0.002 percent tested positive and of those positive tests zero were cases contracted at the gym zero not 0.00001 even flat absolute zero Number two, other large fitness operators throughout the country have reported similar numbers. One in 135,000 check-ins or 0.000741% positive cases since reopening gyms. Number three, 44 states in the country have reopened gyms, either fully or partially. However, New York, which has one of the lowest infection rates and has flattened the curve, has yet to open gyms in any capacity. Now we're being loosely told that we could operate outside, but if you go to different towns throughout the state, it's really up to the town supervisor, the health department, or the fire marshals as to what they want to interpret the law as what it vaguely says. And I shouldn't even say law because it's a state mandate, it's a rule. Nothing has actually passed through legislature and deemed a law. But the powers that be that gave Governor Cuomo the overextending power to just basically do as whatever he says has caused at least, and I'm, I'm being very conservative this number, at least two gyms a day to close in the lower Hudson and tri-state area. Mm-hmm. Two. Almost every single day I'm reading on Facebook about a gym closing, whether it be a large chain or a small personal training studio. So he wants to come up on the on his mic every day, hear himself speak and talk about how we're doing so great as a state and businesses are reopened and everybody's starting to become happy again. Meanwhile, you have small businesses that support communities, keep people healthy and mentally healthy, let alone physically, but happier just by getting them to be active. Places like this that are actually saving lives and you know, and let's even take a step back. There's a high, high. There's there's actual data out there that show a high connection between obesity and COVID. But those who are not obese have a much higher chance of not not catching it or even dying from it. All right. So I'm not saying that this virus isn't for real. It's for real, for real. But you know, if there's one thing we can do to fight it, you're keeping the, that industry closed. So, you know, I mean, how many, how can you say that this state is super happy when there's so many people that want to actually work out and, um, you know, you have people foreclosing on their homes, um, not pay, not being able to pay their rent and literally committing suicide because their, their hands are tied behind their back. Mm -hmm. All right. So it, it now comes down to, you know, Governor Cuomo needs to needs to fucking put his money where his mouth is. If you're constantly saying you have proof and data that we should not be open, 
then prove it. Show us the data. You had your doctor, Dr. Zucker, hold a press conference, and he got roasted because live. Because he had no data. Because he had no data. He had no proof. He had no answers. You're supposed to have answers when you're in a position of power like that. When you have nothing, the people that put you there wonder why they even they wasted their time voting for you. And this is this is frustrating. It doesn't even come down to any more of like whether or not we should re- really be open. It comes down to you know the inconsistency in in the overall ruling of what should and should not be open. How is a drive-through strip club allowed to be open? But you're going to shut down outdoor fitness. Tell me how that makes any sense. Or casinos are open in Jersey. Schools are about to let, be allowed to reopen in the fall. Okay. Um, it's okay for everybody to go to the grocery store, Walmart, or Home Depot and Lowe's, you know, and stand in, on top of each other, breathe down each other's necks, even though you're supposed to be practicing a six foot rule. But you can't. You won't even get guidelines to a gym on how to operate safely indoors. You won't even give a, a capacity percentage to follow. And he keeps banking on the fact that it's it's um, it's the the globules in the air. But meanwhile, it's been said that it's only if people cough or sneeze. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Which I think sometimes happen during sex. So, I mean, that's still allowed. Yeah, there's actually guidelines on that. You're definitely not social distancing there, that's for sure. I think one of my favorite rules on the sex um, guideline is uh, it says no rimming. <laughs> so if you guys really want to know what that is, I would say Urban Dictionary. Definitely don't Google it because you might get some Google images or videos that pop up you really didn't want to oh. see. Um, wow. Do it after dinner. Uh, don't ruin yeah. your appetite. Um that's 2020 for you. And the only clue I'll give about that is uh, it's not when you miss a jump shot. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> no rotation so, of tires going all on. we can ask is, uh, you know, for from help from everybody just to constantly bombard Cuomo's office on on their displeasure with uh with the current the current state of affairs in the fitness industry who's he who he's getting paid off by so i I really want to thank people like marianne lombardo for uh really supporting us people like one of my good friends elliot scharf whom whom i've known since pre-k um you know writing in a letter and supporting us and and many others when we can go on and on and on but this is it, 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 this has more to do with than just overdrive fitness itself. It has more to do with the whole fitness industry. Mm-hmm. Like there's so many people. You hear of so many stories every time you look up a gym. You hear of so many testimonials saying like how that gym, not even ours in particular, just that gym, any gym that le- that gets a great testimonial. You you always see at least at least five testimonies that say so and so's fitness or so and so's gym saved my life. Mm-hmm. And it could it be? Like hyperbole, possibly, but you know what? It meant a lot to that person. It got them off of um, prescription medications. It got them to a healthy body weight. It lowered their cholesterol. It cleared their mind. It de-stressed their life. But you know what? Let's all get lap dances at the titty bar with surgical masks on. That that's totally safe. And let's smoke our brains out and just keep pulling the slot, the slot handle. But well, I don't think they're allowing smoking in the casinos i'm not sure though but we could go find okay, out well still i'll be as much as still are they going to clean every machine after every person uses it every time are you kidding me don't knock it till you try gina let's go find point, out no but the point is is that go ahead you're going to be i just i just want to know how how certain things can can be allowed and certain things cannot there and, was an underground rave actually under the it was in brooklyn Nothing was done about that the other night. And there were tons of pictures of people literally standing on top of each other without masks on. And the ones that did have it had it around their neck. It doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't make sense. So, yeah. It doesn't make sense. Do yourselves a favor. If you want to get back in the gyms, just... Voice voice it. Voice your, your displeasure. Voice it. To the state of New York. Also... Since you are not allowed to work out in a gym, 
you might as well help boost your immune system with Immune Assist and Golden Guard by yours truly, Prestige Labs. And, and, and couple it with overdrive home workouts. Because, I know, I, I mean, I'm sure Desi can speak on behalf of the overdrive home workouts. And we do them. Yeah. He's, he, he, runs the, he runs the live. He's on the live. Super and, effective stuff. Right? I mean, Absolutely. it gets you get the job done. Yeah. Stick with us. People are losing body fat, gaining muscle. Clothes are getting bigger. Pant sizes, dress sizes. I'm telling you, I have one of one of our members. I spoke to her yesterday, and she said, "I was going through my closet, and I found a a, a skirt." that I wore on my honeymoon and I said to myself uh, pfft, I'm going to give this to my daughter or I'm just going to donate it because this isn't going this isn't going to fit me right now this isn't good like she went to put it on and it was actually loose and she was 15 pounds lighter when she was on her honeymoon that just goes to show you that the way she's been training she might be on the scale heavier but her body is absolutely different it's totally transformed from where she was on her honeymoon to today that is a big deal mm -hmm. it just goes to show you how your body when you do things right and you're eating healthfully and you're training with a purpose and you're training appropriately for the goal and consistently then it does its job you just got to trust in the process that, that was a big win for her, and she's down almost 3% body fat. And I'm telling you, her weight hasn't even changed that much, but just goes to show you that she's doing things right, and she's taking her time, and she's trusting the process. That is a, that is a, that is a huge win right there. And those of you who want to keep winning out of uh, promiscuity... Uh, make sure you, you abide by the New York City Health Department guidelines to safe sex. Yes. Have them, have them come to your door and explain it to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because that was, that's their, uh, they're pushing that, I think. There's some pushing going on. So uh, on that note, I think that's about it for this week. Oh, oh no. Boss. We almost forgot. About? This, is, this is a really important, <laughs> really important part of the show, too. Yeah. Yeah, the new orders for tank tops just uh, hit the houses of everybody last week, so that was great. But uh, I guess this is kind of important, too. Um, our first guest, uh, Jason Vossler, yes. um, he got the call, I think it was three or four days ago, to report to San Diego. Uh, he is officially on the 60-man roster. So last I spoke, you know, he's just getting settled in, extremely excited to be there. Um, you know, after having a blazing hot spring training, it was it was odd that he was left off the initial 60-man roster um, for the, for the taxi squad, at least because uh, those of you who don't know, since Major League Baseball reopened, you know, well first in the 2020 season, you were supposed to have been allowed to have a 26-man roster, and instead of the normal 25, but then you always had a 40-man roster. All right with the shutdown of minor league baseball and trying to figure out how we were going to reopen major league baseball again then um it came down to uh major league baseball teams were allowed to do a 60-man roster which would leave 30 for your main roster and then 30 in like a taxi squad that would stay at your home site okay you can always move people up and down uh that's how that would work all right so um jason got the call a couple days ago He's now one of the 57. San Diego has not completely filled their 60-man roster. He's, he's on their, he's, their, their pool is up to 57, I believe, now. And, um, yeah, we are super excited for him because uh, he is now even that much closer uh, to his goal of playing Major League Baseball, especially, you know, uh, after having such a, a hot spring and for the momentum to get shut down for something completely out of his hands, mm -hmm. which was e extremely upsetting. Um you know, it just showed that he was able to bounce back, and uh, he just let the process happen. So, congrats to Jason. Yeah, Jason. We can now Good say job. of the San Diego Padres. Um, you know, he, he kept himself in shape over the quarantine, 
we stayed in touch and uh yeah it was just it was just awesome just awesome to get that great news we're extremely happy for him um and then he hopefully soon uh you know we will see him on tv who knows and maybe maybe we'll be able to go see a game of his or two Nah, uh, maybe next year or we could put our cardboard cutouts in the stands <laughs> during one of his games this is true that's possible but i know he would love to have us there and he yeah. deserves it he's worked so so hard We'll see uh, when when fans are actually allowed at pro sporting events in the next uh, three years, it looks like, which is hysterical because that was actually a proposition. Cuomo was like, let's just bring all the baseball teams to New York. They can play in both our, our stadiums, but, you know, gyms can't be open. Let's bring in all these bodies from out of state. In. It seems a but, lot but safer. He didn't, but he didn't quarantine because he's an essential worker when he went to Georgia. Georgia. And he, and he, he didn't wear a mask. So let's not let's not practice what we preach or walk our talk. Let's just do what we want. We should just have more people do what they want. <laughs> so yeah, big shout out to Jason. Yeah, Jason. Good job, Jason. You deserve it. We are very proud of you. What a humble, humble guy. He's amazing. Let's also shout out Frank Margiota. Who almost ruined Jason's quarantine by uh, wearing metal spikes in the Nyack High School baseball field. Everybody knows it's all turfed up there. So, uh, Frank, we love you, but way to screw that up because you ripped off the turf and then they shut down that field. So Jason almost had no place to practice. But by the power of God, Clarkstown South opened their, do their doors to him. So, Frank, when I see you, get an uppercut right to the jaw for your own good. Frank's one of our uh, our sports former coaches at at Overdrive, and um, he will be playing baseball whenever his schools reopen at uh, Immaculata. So now we can officially close it out. Did, um, you, get, did you get everything out, Teddy? Did you get everything out? I don't think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think now. I think that's it. So, um, that is it for this week's episode of Overdrive AF. Remember, immune assist, golden guard, reach out to Cuomo, tell him he's a dick, and then, uh... And reach out to Cuomo and tell him to open the gyms. And make sure you reach out to Cuomo and have him open the gyms yesterday. And then we will catch you guys next week for another episode of Overdrive AF. Take care.